you halibut fishermen out there, I know what you guys are up to, and I've got a perfect recipe for you, especially during these cold, rainy nights. I'm going to teach you guys how to make a halibut tortilla soup. This is Mexican comfort food at its best. And for all of you other fishermen out there who haven't quite become certified in halibut fishing, in other words, you don't have your own little secret hole, start making friends with some halibut fishermen, follow them around, because this time of year in the middle of the winter is when the big halibut start coming back to our coastline and they're easily caught as long as you know where they are and when they're feeding. My name is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly, and if you want to learn how to make a halibut tortilla soup, hang on, here we go. <laughs> Fire is on, time to put in about three to four tablespoons of olive oil. Good extra virgin olive oil. There's about three or four right there, perfect. All right, so I've got one rather large whole onion all diced up. And the oil is shimmering, it's time to pour it in. Now for a nice healthy pinch of salt. Perfect. Okay, I've got one tablespoon of cumin. I've got one tablespoon of mild chili powder. And finally, my last spice is gonna be some dried oregano. A tablespoon of dried oregano. Okay, so that's it. Our onions have got salt, they've got cumin, they've got chili powder, and dry oregano. Time to add the garlic. Here we go. Oh, that smells so good. So this is going to saute for about three or four minutes, and then we're going to start adding our liquid and start creating the soup. Time for the water. Okay, so as this water is warming up, it's time for me to prep my chayote, which is a Mexican squash, and my ordinary russet potato. So check this out. This is a Mexican chayote. It's a Mexican squash. It has the same hardness and density as a potato, and it's cooked the same way. I always think about chayote whenever I'm making a Mexican fish soup or a stew. So let me tell you how to prepare this. You actually need a carrot peeler and you have to skin it first, so check this out. The skin is pretty thin and it's pretty easy to take right off. Okay, so once you've skinned it, it's time to dice it up. I'm going to cut it right in half. Follow this little line right here. There's the seed. It's very soft. Just take a spoon and scoop that out, otherwise it's just full of bitterness. Here's the seed. Okay, once the seed's gone, then it's just a matter of dicing it up. That's exactly what we want right there. Okay, I've got my chayote all diced up, ready to go. Equal amounts of chayote and potato, by the way. The full written recipe is on fishermansbelly.com. Be sure and check it out. And subscribe to the website if you haven't subscribed yet so you won't miss any new recipes. So here is my favorite part of this soup, this tortilla soup. So what I'm gonna do here, you've seen me do this with tacos and tostadas, but again, I'm gonna not only warm up my tortillas on the open flame, but I'm also gonna give them color, you know, some caramelization. And that'll actually show through in the soup. So, anything we can do to make our food look good, do it. I'm a firm believer. Use a pair of tongs for this operation, fellas. That way you can save your fingers from fishing. And by all means, if you haven't got a tortilla warmer, you've got to get one. If you're a fisherman and you love fish tacos, tostadas, or even tortilla soup, you need one of these. So I'm going to warm up eight of these total. Okay, these are warmed up and charred, and wait till you see what I'm going to do with them. Check this out. I've got eight total, so I'll take four of them right now, stack them up, 
and start cutting them. No more than a half inch in terms of width. Just like that. Oh boy, it's time to put this into the soup and prep the halibut, get that in there, and we are so close. I've got two pounds of halibut fillets right here. So, my good buddy Chris from San Diego called me up and he said they're starting to catch some halibut out there and he needed room in his freezer. So he handed me a couple of halibut fillets that he had caught last November in the same spot in San Diego Bay. So, I know this, he, he does a great job vacuum packing, so I know this is gonna be good. And I can't wait to prep this and put it in our soup. Oh my God. I'm gonna cut it into one inch cubes. That's about, that's about the size we want right there. Time for the tortillas. The tortilla soup. I mean, how can you have tortilla soup without tortillas? Look at that, oh my God. I absolutely love this soup. Now for the halibut. Oh boy, look at that. Oh my goodness. Every soup needs a good acid. I'm not using lemon or lime. I wouldn't use lemon because it's not traditional for Mexican cuisine. I would use lime. But I don't have good lime, so I'm gonna use white vinegar, which is very traditional in Mexican cuisine. So an eighth of a cup of vinegar. That's all it takes. We're getting close. In about five minutes, this soup is gonna be done. Guess what, gang? The soup is done. I'm gonna put it on this cutting board and go and serve some up. Just watch. Oh boy. Mm. Okay, I've got a few things I'm gonna to add to this soup. Number one, I've got some chopped up Mexican green onions. All right, so I've added those green onions. I'm gonna do a taste test for saltiness. It's perfect, it's awesome. Oh my goodness, oh my God. Oh my goodness, okay. So check this out, look at this. Look at that, oh my God. I can smell the tortillas, oh. Look at that, and now, so now to add the queso fresco. And what the heck is queso fresco? So this is Mexican queso fresco. It's a cow's milk cheese. You can find it in all the local Mexican markets. It's gonna add just the right amount of brightness and freshness to this soup, especially with the tortilla soup. Mmm, just watch. Bingo, and a little bit of cilantro. I can't wait to sink my teeth into this soup and serve it to the family. Believe me. Oh my God. If you have any questions about today's recipe, ask them down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon. That way you won't miss a thing. And if you need the written recipe, like I said earlier, go to my website, fishermansbelly.com, and that's where you'll find all the details to create this insane tortilla soup. My name is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly. Thanks for spending time with me today and we'll see you guys on the next one.